Hello everyone, hello everybody, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. A new interesting topic is our key eye, Chatronic. We want to find out step by step which component could be responsible if the idle is not constant and causing a rough running of the engine. We start with the potentiometer which is located on the right hand side of the baffle plate in driving direction. In a previous video we have been talking about the idle actuator and how to check on its proper functioning. We have tested the idle actuator with a 12 volt bypass to check if the throttle inside of it is functioning properly. Today we are looking for a further electronically powered component which could cause a rough running. We will be doing this together. We will start later with the three pins with different pairing to see whether the component is working properly or not concerning resistance. We will be doing this with a digital meter. The better choice is an analog multimeter for the simple reasons. With an analog multimeter you see the swing of the needle. This is more accurate and a lot simpler to work with. Well in my case I only do have a digital meter. We will have to put up with this cheap thing here. We will get it done anyway. First of all I will have to drive to warm up the engine. Always a good choice going for a ride first. Since the measuring is being done with a warm engine. I will show you as well the position of the injection control unit and what to do with it while measuring. This thing is being placed behind a black plastic cover in the footwell of the passenger side. We will all get it done after the intro and it is marked 0007 or something like that. But first of all let me go for a ride and we meet after the introduction. So I am now deep in the footwell on the passenger side. I have removed the earlier on mentioned plastic protective cover already. In here we have several other control units. So this one here is the one we need. I have disconnected it already. It is connected with this rectangle plug. To detach it easily you press with two fingers against this clip here. It is foolproof. You cannot do anything wrong. This unit is being mounted in this position. Press the clip slightly upwards so you can simply pull it out towards you, which makes it easier to disconnect this plug here. You disconnect it afterwards. The engine is still warm. Now let us check on the potentiometer. To get to our component, which is placed underneath here, I will remove the air filter housing by unbolting the fixation and removing the pipes on the right hand side. So this part here is the potentiometer I will now slightly remove the plugs for a couple of millimeters. They still have to be connected, they still need to have contact. In the gaps between I will attach our multimeter. If the push rod is disturbing you, just unhinge it right here at this spot to have easy access to the component. Now we 
have connected the meter at pin 1 and pin 2. I will now start the engine and have a look at the minimum idle. The meter is now being connected with pin 1 and pin 2. The tension has to be between a range of a 0 0.57 and 0 0.81 volts. Still with the engine running, we will swap the pins to pin 1 and pin 3, so the top pin and the bottom pin here, the swing of the needle should be around 4.6 and 5.1 volts. The needle in our case is the digits should remain stable. A short summary, the bottom line is of our test as mentioned earlier on, an analog multimeter is easier to read because the needle does not swing no more. So if the needle is standing still in one position, the better works the potentiometer, which is based on the change of resistance due to lengthening or shortening the length of two wires. I had to put up with a cheap digital multimeter, hope you could see it nevertheless. Sorry to hammer away on this, let me repeat. First, the control unit in the footwell is disconnected. Second, the engine is running on minimum idle. Third, the engine is running on the emergency program. Four, the buffer plate is closed. I need as a result a 4.6 and 5.1 when pin 1 and pin 3 is connected. It has to stay steady within this range. When I connect pin 1 and 2, I need a result of a 0 0.7 and a 0 0.81. Within this range, the needle has to stand firm. Firm in one position. Make sure about that. Before changing this expensive component, just like a shot in the dark, as a wild guess, maybe if it's broken or not, just change it. Check it first if functioning or not. Such a component, if you use a Bosch, is around 200 euros. Why make a hole in the wallet for nothing? Components from other manufacturers are way cheaper, but here we have this philosophy, original equipment, manufacturer or others. What shall we do? You can get them for a lot less, even for the half price, let's say around 100 euros already. Since I have disconnected the injection control unit, I can manually and step by step check on every component involved for malfunction. The engine is running with the emergency program. This works quite well with this specific KE Jetronic. Another step further would be Simply remove the air filter housing and spray with start pilot in various spots around the intake manifold to see if there is a leak and therefore sucking air from the surrounding. You will notice within a split second if the idle is changing to the better and being steady. Since start pilot is triggering better ignition, do it step by step, area after area, cylinder after cylinder. This is to eliminate another culprit of rough idling. So, hope you have liked it, hope you could get some helpful advice from it. Key Jetronic sometimes is a tricky topic, this is what we are here for. I would appreciate a like, even more a subscription. A subscription is always highly, highly appreciated. Hope to see you around with my next video, which would be part two of this story here. Have a safe ride and take care everybody. Bye bye.